Hi everyone, this is Adrian at 18 Echo SF. I'd like to spend a few minutes today reflecting on Veterans Day 2013 and how all of us um, should feel about everyone who has served, you know, in the military. Um, you know, it's the one day of the year where um, everyone stands up and uh, honors the, all of the people that have um, put the rear ends on the line and uh, spent the time away from their families um, defending uh, our, our country. And um, I always find it uh, amazing that the people in Washington, D.C., a, a large majority of them um, who have not served in the military uh, are the ones who are making decisions that are directly impacting the lives of um, uh, those folks who um, are at, at risk. Uh, that happened in Benghazi, Libya, and um, four very brave Americans, uh, Ambassador Chris Stevens, uh, Sean Smith, who was a, uh, uh, a contractor, um, as well as uh, two former Navy SEALs, who were working um, for the CIA at the time, uh, Tyrone Woods and Glenn, Glenn Doherty. And, um, you know, the fact that they lost their lives uh, during uh, that, the battle that took place, um, not necessarily because of things that weren't done during the battle, because we don't know exactly how long that would have lasted um, and if help could have gotten there in time, but more because things were, did not happen prior to by making the security of that uh, annex um, much more secure, uh, helping to you know, uh, provide you know, some protection for the people you know, who were in there. Um, it just uh, amazes me that you know, people thousands of miles away you know, also made a decision to not lift one finger to send help, not knowing how long that battle would have taken place. And, um, you know, none of us will ever know if um, any of those four lives um, could have been saved because nobody did a damn thing, uh, and which I find to be reprehensible. So, um, you know, we live in a society today uh, that's kind of a uh, gimme society and um, it all seems to be based directly on um, uh, ideology and uh, not on human decency and uh, that disturbs me to no end. Um, you know I come from a time uh, back in the 60s when um, uh, you know the civil rights movement was you know coming to play um, I happen to be a, a fan of uh, John F. Kennedy. Um, this is prior to going into the military. And I still remember, you know, a speech, uh, a couple speeches that he made where, you know, he really seemed to rally an entire youthful nation around service to our country, be it in the military or the Peace Corps. And, um, you know, I served in, in the military and um, I have... Uh, some friends uh, who spent some time in the Peace Corps. And, um, you know, I look back at those years as, uh, you know, building blocks to my future for sure. Um, you know, but I wonder at times if the folks that are um, in Washington that are making these decisions that are impacting the lives of people in the military, um, be it during their service or after, if they even have a clue, you know, what they're doing um, because if they did it doesn't seem um, like they would allow uh, something to happen like happened in Benghazi you know at least they could have um, uh, ordered the troops to um, get on those that airplane and uh, get over there as quick as possible even though it was hours away so um, I'm very disturbed about what happened, and I'm even more disturbed that the uh, federal government, the, uh, uh, the administration that's in place today, has blocked 
um, all access to any of the people who were on the ground during that attack. Well, this week, um, I'm not exactly sure what day, probably Wednesday, I would think, and I'm not sure it will be on television, but if it is, I'll be watching. There's going to be a congressional hearing, and they're going to have a couple of the CIA contractors who were on the ground during the Benghazi attack, and I think we will have a much better under understanding of who exactly did not give the orders to let uh, troops get over there to help. Um, and whoever it is that um, didn't let that happen, they need to be held accountable. If they are still working for the government, they need to be fired and uh, never to hold office again. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, you know, there's just so many cover-ups going on and we're, all of us as Americans are being impacted by so many different things that are taking place with this administration. Uh, I almost can't believe it. Um, there have been, you know, many elections that I have voted in, um, all of them since I turned 21, that's many years ago. And, um, uh, you know, I didn't always um, agree or like, you know, the presidents that were elected. Um, but in this particular case, I think that our country is being severely damaged by this current president and his entire administration. And I am hoping that uh, in the next presidential election, um, smarter heads and smarter thinking will take place in, um, uh, in selecting the candidates that we have and that everyone will look at the policies that have been put in place and try to do something to uh, counteract them and um, get our country you know, back in order again. So anyway, um, have a wonderful Veterans Day and um, stay well and safe out there, folks, and I'll see you down the road.